Hello, welcome to Geospatial for Business Educational Curriculum. Uh, this is demonstration two, cleaning up our geospatial database. We are activating our tools that we'll be using. And this is on our previously uh, geocoded uh, HUD data layer. We're going to set the radius of our pie charts, which will occur at every location that we have a data point. So we have data throughout the state of Florida, but we're actually only interested in Alachua County, which is Gainesville, metropolitan area. Zooming in on the county. And there's our Newberry Point that we uh, added in our previous demonstration. It'd be a lot easier if we could clearly see the boundary of Alachua County. So we're going to do that by uh, making the working layer being the county polygon layer and then selecting Alachua County with the pointer tool. is our selection pointer tool and now that that polygon is selected we can export it we could export it as an ESRI shape file or as a map info tab file uh, or as a standard geographic file we're going to retain the built-in data the FIPS code for Alachua County is uh, for the FIPS for state of Florida is 12 and 001 for Alachua County since it's the first alphabetical in the state and we're going to call this data layer 12001 I recommend normally doing that when you have a FIPS code easier to keep track of the myriad of databases Uh, we could have said uh, add this to the uh, uh, open uh, map, but uh, I'm here by manually adding it, showing pronounced boundary for the county polygon. And now these then become the assisted living facilities of relevance. I'll leave the others uh, on that same data layer. I could select them and uh, export them, but we'll just keep them all. So I've made the uh, point data layer, the active data layer, and now I'm going to choose modify table. And I am going to select 25 characters for each of the widths. That's more than adequate for our purposes. 
So for every text field, notice we have not modified status. We'll go back to that. So by not having modified status, status is 254 characters wide. So it's uh, uh, it's only got one data values in it, one m's. So we're going to change this from a large width to eight. That's adequate for what we've got. And now it's easier to read our database and we're using less memory. We're going to add two data columns. There's various ways to uh, do uh, uh, create formula fields. One is to add a new field. Another one is to uh, uh, just to uh, execute a formula and then Maptitude will automatically add the data field. We'll do it both ways. So here since we're in modified modifying a table we're going to add two data fields. Uh, we are, our objective is to create a pie chart uh, with two data values and when doing that those data values should be mutually exclusive and collectively exhaustive, which in our case will be either uh, a uh, unit is assisted or it's not assisted. And we have the count of assisted units and the total number of units. So from that we can create percentages. And uh, initially we're going to have this with three decimal points. Later on we'll uh, modify that to be four. So scrolling to the right, we see the two data fields that we've added that we can now populate with uh, numerical values using formulas. So I've selected formula fields and this is actually going to add two new fields. So assisted units divided by, and I have all the data fields uh, that I can pull up in total units, and I'm going to name this. I verify that my syntax is correct, and so here we have a new data field. And I can actually use that new data field that I just added in my calculations. So I'm going to subtract that from the value 1. And I'll just type it in, but I could select the operator, which is a minus sign, uh, if I wanted to. Syntax is correct. So this will be the percent assisted units within each uh, uh, housing complex. So that's our second data field.